Hello, this is Ann Dapper Woods, the Chief Nurse of Walters Clore Health Learning Research and Practice. And besides having that role, I'm also a practicing nurse practitioner and board certified in two MP specialties. And I also teach for several universities here in the Philadelphia area. And today I wanna to talk to you about certification and the importance of certification. When I became a nurse 38 years ago and started out practicing, I quickly realized that just having your RN license basically says you're basically at that entry level of practice. You're learning, you're just, you're just newly competent to actually take care of patients. And I quickly realized that the nurses who I was really becoming to come to admire, who were truly experts in practice, were all board certified. So I looked up what board certification really meant. And it was very interesting to see that certification really validates your expert knowledge, your skills, your clinical judgment. It really says that you are engaged in your profession and your each of your specialties. And it really helps to position you for advancement through your career ladder. And let's face it, our patients want the highest level of care. And what I actually saw in my clinical practice is that the board certified nurses were actually able to deliver that. And that's something that I strove to do. And that's what I did. I went and I became a board certified nurse in critical care. As I went on in my career, became a nurse practitioner, I started to see the benefit certification has for healthcare systems. The research tells us that there are less medical errors caused by certified nurses, and that certified nurses and nurses who have at least their bachelor's degree actually have better patient outcomes. And the other thing is, if you look at individual malpractice costs, it's actually less being a certified nurse because they realize that as a certified nurse, you're truly invested in your career and you're invested in your continuing professional development and lifelong learning. So what does certification mean to me? Well, first of all, becoming a certified nurse gave me better job prospects and opportunities. And it really helped me to improve my credibility uh, among my colleagues, as well as uh, in my professional career. And it also helped to elevate my level of clinical judgment because I was always learning. You, know, you have to continue doing your continuing professional development every year. And being certified gives me that confidence in my clinical decision-making because I have more of that knowledge. I also think being certified is a great way to role model what a professional nurse is. What is that brand of a professional nurse? When I think of someone who is a truly professional nurse trying every single day to provide the best care to their patients, often I think of it's a certified nurse. And it's, I am so happy that I decided to become a board certified nurse practitioner and nurse, and I hope that you consider it in your future as well. Hi, this is Colette Handler, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Livincott Solutions. I just would like to share with you a little bit about why I think that it's important to become certified in your specialty as a registered nurse. When I was working back in critical care, I thought it was really important that I become certified as a critical care nurse because I wanted to validate my practice as a critical care registered nurse. And I felt like taking the national standardized exam would be a great way to show people that I had the knowledge, skills, and experience to successfully pass that national standardized exam. And then as I uh, went on and became an infection control nurse, I also felt that it was very important to become certified in that field as well. Um, there are studies out there that show that if you do pursue and achieve your certification, it makes a difference in your practice. Um, it makes a difference in that you're practicing at a higher standard and um, it's been shown through the literature that when certified nurses care for patients, they have better outcomes. 
Um, for me professionally, I also think that certification is important because it makes you more marketable as a nurse. There are many um, healthcare facilities out there who prefer to hire someone who is certified. So my advice to you is if you're considering certification, just do it. it especially now on Certified Nurses Day, I can't think of a better time to just make that commitment to yourself to go out and get certified and reach that next level. Hi, my name is Robin Coyne. I am an acute care, adult gerontology acute care nurse practitioner. Um, my background is in neurology and neurosurgery, and I work for Wolters Pleur on the Living Cop Procedures product. Um, so I'm certified as an adult Gero acute care nurse practitioner, and I became certified when I completed my master's uh, when I finished graduate school to become a nurse practitioner. Um, so obviously being certified as a nurse practitioner allows me to practice as a nurse practitioner um, to the full extent of my education. Certification is important because it shows a demonstrated competency beyond what a new to practice nurse uh, or an uncertified RN can offer a patient and the patient's family. Um, for me, it allows practice as a nurse practitioner. And for others, it shows a deep knowledge uh, of some aspect of nursing care, whether it's neurology care, stroke care, informatics, administration, anything like that. Uh, and my advice for anyone who's thinking about certification would be that it's a great goal for anyone who's looking to take their next step in their career. There's so many certifications out there for nurses that can fit anyone um, in any specialty, um, from a bedside nurse to a nurse practitioner to administrator. There's just so many different opportunities for, for certification for nurses. Hello. My name is Denise Felsenstein, and I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. I am board certified as a women's health nurse practitioner by NCC, the National Certification Corporation. And I became certified in 1992 um, after graduating from my nurse practitioner program at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, I have maintained my board certification since 1992 which shows that I have continued to meet the requirements that NCC has for board certification. I pursued certification um, when I graduated from my nurse practitioner program because I felt that professionally, I wanted to become board certified to validate my knowledge and my skills to myself. Um, and also for when I was looking for Positions, I felt that this would help give me um, information to share with future employers that I do have the knowledge and skills based on the fact that I'm board certified nationally. Certification is important not only for uh, nurses as individuals, um, but also for our nursing profession. Um, as a, as nursing profession as a whole, it's really important that we can validate our expertise. And one way to be able to do that is through board certification. By showing that large numbers of nurses are board certified in a large variety of different types of specialties helps provide our profession with greater validation of the knowledge and skills that we provide for healthcare services. Hello there, my name is Elizabeth Tomaszewski. Um, I am a critical care nurse practitioner and a professor of graduate nursing. Um, several years ago, probably more than I care to admit, um, I felt the need to have a benchmark of my expertise and specialties that I was um, practicing in. Um, in the we'll just say mid to late 90s, I obtained my CCRN and my CEN around the same time because I was working in both settings. And I think that there is a difference between nurses who take that extra step to get certification and those who maybe don't feel so inclined. We often talk about nursing as a profession and how we measure that and how we define that. And I think that 
making sure that we have a measure of our continued excellence after our basic formal nursing training is all part of that and it's all very important. As a nurse practitioner, certification for me is required in my state for licensure. Um, I earned my ACNP uh, from ANCC or the American Nurses Credential Incorporation back in 2009 and AGACNP from American Association of Critical Care Nurses also in 2009. And to this day, I maintain my CCRN as I remain active at the bedside and um, am often viewed as a mentor and as a resource person. So from a clinical practice perspective, I think that you know, certification indicates a level of expertise in a particular nursing specialty, and in my particular, it's critical care nursing. From the perspective of my academic teaching role, my students can be confident that I not just talk the talk, but I actually walk the walk, and that I'm current in my bedside practice. Uh, but for all nurses, I think that certification indicates a continued excellence in nursing that um, and in specific specialties that a lot of not just patients and families are looking at, but also for our novice nurses to seek out those mentors. Um, so it provides patients and families that assurance that the nurses caring for them have a certain level of expertise in the specialty that, um, that they're practicing in. It provides new nurses a way to identify mentors and leaders in their units to be able to look towards in times of trouble and when they have questions that they need answered. And it provides the professional way to demonstrate a nurse's expertise um, and education beyond that basic level of nursing that we all got in nursing school. And more, most importantly, I think it provides the nurse a benchmark of their own education and validation of their experience in their chosen specialty. Um, I've been asked what kind of advice I would give someone who is seeking certification. I would, I would advise them to remember that it's more than an alphabet after your name. Those letters carry with it a responsibility to pay it forward and ensure that you are um, taking that knowledge and that expertise that you have attained to gain that certification and pass it on to others. Um, I think that it's you know, important to ensure that your experience is also commensurate with the certification. Don't just get a certification because it's out there and you can get it. Make sure that you have the experience and the education to back it up. And remember to study because even the experts have something to learn. 